in continuation with previous video so coming to the next lipid that is phospholipid so we are all aware phospholipids are the category of lipids which comes under complex lipids okay so how to define a phospholipid so phospholipid is a combination of alcohol fatty acid and phosphate group okay um, which is attached to other uh, substances like uh, nitrogen like uh, okay nitrogen and with the other like uh, alcohols right classification of phospholipids if you see there are two major uh, classifications okay one is uh, glycerophospholipid other one is sphingophospholipids okay so glycerophospholipids sphingophospholipids are the two major classifications we got okay and with the name itself we can make out glycerophospholipids they have alcohol glycerol okay and in case of sphingophospholipids the alcohol is other than glycerol that is sphingosine sphingosine okay sphingosine so as a backbone so the name itself otherwise this sphingophospholipids known as sphingomyelins so where you come across this myelin neurons structure of neuron okay that neurons covered by myelin sheath right so these sphingophospholipids extensively present in uh, myelin sheath of neurons so that's why they are also known as sphingomyelins so structural phospholipids see in this uh, flow chart uh, i can make out a simple okay glycerophospholipids which consists glycerol backbone and they may be linked to a alcohol like uh, serine ethanolamine choline or inositol and along with the alcohol they do attach to the phosphate group and two fatty acids okay in the last uh, uh, carbon of the glycerol it may not attach with the third fatty acid in place of that it attached to the phosphate group and the alcohol okay and coming to the sphingophospholipids they do consist of sphingosine as a backbone and which is linked to alcohol choline okay and phosphate group and one fatty acid so this is the restriction of this uh, sphingophospholipid compared to glycerophospholipid so the type of alcohol which is attached to the phospholipid as a glycerophospholipid you can name it if serine is attached phosphatidyl serine okay if ethanolamine is attached to the glycerophospholipid it is named as phosphatidyl ethanolamine if the choline group is attached it is named as phosphatidyl choline okay if inositol group is attached it is otherwise known as phosphatidyl inositol so this way for glycerophospholipids are named so uh, talking about properties of uh, phospholipids okay so they are amphipathic molecules that means each molecule has got hydrophilic as well as hydrophobic uh, uh, hydrophilic uh, that means head hydro uh, hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail okay and they are all having a enlarged hydrocarbon side chain okay they are all having enlarged hydrocarbon side chain so in the structure in the picture what i can see here hydrophobic head okay and in the tail hydrophobic tail so this is a phospholipid molecule so this phospholipid molecule you can get where you can get in cell membrane lipid bilayer okay cell membrane is made up of lipid bilayer and the basis for this lipid bilayer is phospholipid okay without phospholipid there is no cell membrane okay that is the important of importance of phospholipids so what are the members of uh, glycerophospholipids so as i mentioned phosphatidic acid is there phosphatidyl choline phosphatidyl ethanolamine uh, phosphatidyl choline otherwise known as lecithin and phosphatidyl ethanolamine otherwise known as cephalin uh, if amino acid serine is attached to this glycerophospholipid it is known as phosphatidyl serine and if carbohydrate inositol is a carbohydrate okay when this carbohydrate is attached okay to this glycerophospholipid it is named as phosphatidyl inositol so first we will see how this phosphatidic acid is synthesized okay so the source of phosphatidic acid is dihydroxyacetone phosphate okay the source of phosphatidic uh, acid is dihydroxyacetone phosphate when glycerol 3 phosphate okay when glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase act on dihydroxyacetone phosphate this dihydroxyacetone phosphate converted to glycerol 3 phosphate 
okay where a molecule of NADH2 converted to NAD that means NADH is transferring its hydrogens to DHAP and converting dihydroxyacetone phosphate into glycerol 3 phosphate okay and this glycerol 3 phosphate by accepting a fatty acid it converted to monoacyl glycerol 3 phosphate because there is existence of phosphate group at the third carbon of glycerol okay and it is having single acetyl group so monoacyl okay monoacyl glycerol 3 phosphate by the enzyme acyl transferase here the donor of acyl group by the enzyme acyl transferase okay coenzyme a okay which donates the uh, coacyl group which donates the acyl group and it can be donating its uh, acyl group and uh, liberating as a free coa okay and this monoacyl glycerol uh, again accepting one more fatty acid okay acyl group okay to the second carbon and forms the phosphatidic acid so generally phosphatidic acid what it have phosphatidic acid is having one glycerol molecule okay and two phosphate group uh, sorry two fatty acids okay and one phosphate one phosphate at the third carbon it is having phosphate group so phosphatidic acid generally is carrying one glycerol molecule two fatty acids and one phosphate group 